So, good morning, welcome back to the channel today, guys. If you're a new viewer, thank you for watching. Um, you will not be disappointed as today is gonna be a really, really good video. It's happening, guys, stage two is happening. It's, I've owned the car for about literally two months. Um, we are at this point already, and I cannot believe it. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't, I, it, I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't down to you guys helping out within the channel. So, like I say, everything that gets, I earn off of the channel goes straight in, back into the channel and goes towards everything, all these modifications and stuff like that. And there is a giveaway coming soon, and you probably can guess what it's gonna be, but but um, I'll let you, I'll let you just figure that one out for yourself. But heading down to Engine Tuner, where Bevo, uh, Simon Bevo is going to be mapping the mini. So I'm hoping for about 240, 250 brake horsepower as it is stage two, and then about 290, 300 foot pounds maybe if I'm lucky. It depends how the mini is performing on a day. But now we've got the specific modifications that we need, which is the AM induction, um, the, the AirTech front mat and cooler, and the Cobra exhaust system with a decat now. So it should be breathing really freely and stuff like that so it should have no problems at all guys so we're about to go head down and um get some well, basically fill up the fuel we need some i'm gonna put in tesco momentum uh, 99 octane uh, i believe it's 99 octane it's just tesco momentum i try i use that or shell v power so hopefully either which um we'll go find a station um i'm always gonna run i always run it on that anyway but i just needed to i uh, just need to top it up really and make sure i have enough fuel throughout the day because i think it's gonna be quite a long day on dyno because simon wants to get a lot done but for those of you who want to pop some bangs and flames, it's all coming guys, so don't worry, so stay tuned for the day, it's going to be an awesome one, and I'll see you when we get down to engine tuner. Bloody look out. It's dumb and dumber over here, isn't it? Dumb and dumber over here. <laughs> I've got a few goodies for you two. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't mess about, do I, Simon? I've got all the goodies, mate. What's you got? I'll go get it, right? What's in your pocket? Nothing for you. Got now it is a Kit Kat chunky, right? There's only two different flavours. And I got a sort of drink as well, so you some boy, isn't it? Some boy. Yeah. No messing about. Peanut butter, yeah. <laughs> so now Simon's sorted. Minis are sitting pretty ready. Uh, there's a Subaru in a minute getting mapped. So don't worry guys, but I just want to show you my new uh, stickers that I'm bringing out. So it's LBTV GX and G with the light, and I'm with gang, uh, gang, gang, things like that. So this is the eight inch stickers. We've got gloss black, uh, we've got white, and we've got neochrome. Uh, eight inch stickers, now the neochrome's £2.50 and the rest of the colors are two pounds if you want to get your hands on them. I will leave a link in the description down below from my LB apparel store. Uh, but um, I've also got these ones as well, guys. Uh, where are they off? These are like the, <clears throat> I think they're 18 inch ones. They're massive ones. They go on the front, um, either on the bottom of your windscreen or at the top or at the back, wherever you want to put them. But they're for your windscreen, uh, front and rear windscreen. So they, I don't have a price for yet, but they will be going on the website soon. So just stay, help, just stay tuned for that. But we are going to put one to the mini today because I want to see what they look like. All right, so Nick's, Nick's putting the file on my car at the minute. And your neck. Putting the file on, aren't you? Yep. How come do you use that? So the battery dies. No, uh, your battery charger, well, your battery's pretty shit. So yeah. put that on it to stabilise it while we're flashing the ECU. Ah. Uh -huh. If the ECU, well, if the battery dies while we're flashing the ECU, yeah. it will. Nice. So don't kill me ECU, no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why does my intake coming off? Every time. Look. Why does it always do this? The was on the mini. Just tested it. It does, it does pop and bang, but we ain't, we're going to put it on dyno in a second after I've um, after I've test driven it and that as well. So there's a nice R34 in here. We're about to go see. Now I know this video is going to be about my mini, but I want to go see this R34, and I'm sure you lot do as well. So we're going to check out. It's one of them, and it's going to be about 600, 700 brakes. Madness. Go look.
made about 509 there, I think. I don't know what he's had done to it and stuff like that. He's got another one though, which is pretty cool. So Nath, um, this is all my files and that here. Had a little, had a little bit of a best shoot, didn't we, Nath? Yeah. Nothing that can't be fixed, right? Nothing that can't be fixed. Just sorting it out. And then I'm going to take it for a test drive and see what it's like, and then probably pop it on a dyno, innit? After yeah. that. Yeah. Sweet. It's awesome place back there again. Block for that. Got a block for this. It's over the hill, innit? This is Martin's car over here. 860, I think, at least. It's running like a massive straight pipe out the back. It's awesome. It'd be good to do a video on that one day. What a sight this is coming out of here. I love this thing, it's awesome, isn't it? Yes. I can't believe he's got two of them. Yeah, he's a bit greedy, isn't he? <laughs> That's cool. Is he the important like both, today or? Uh, no, we bought the other one years ago and I was yeah. still making them. That's cool, man. Sorry, it's breaks, isn't it? Insane. All right, let's go find out what's going on with mine. Hey, Nate. So, what's actually happened then? So now we've got a bench or ECU. Because? Because it was already tuned. So it can't work out the junction properly. Right. So you're doing it on air just to be safer? Yeah. Sweet. So, shall we go golden after this then, Nath? Be a ripper. Be a ripper. Are you going to adjust them up anymore whilst it's on there or not? Yeah, can do. Can do, yeah. yeah. Make the bangs a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more bangs. Would we have to put launch control on it or not? I don't know on this ECU. It depends what type of ECU it is. Would you be able to see when it's all plugged in or not? Yeah, yeah cool. I'll come back when the interesting bits all start. Or oh, is it all plugged in now, is it? Or not yet? No, I've just got to literally find it in your list. Uh, seven. Sweet. Does someone know what sort of power it'd be running with that map he's got on or not? You can always guesstimate it from yeah. previous, but. You never but this isn't that. one he's used before, is it? It's just a full custom one he's using for mine. It's one he's written. So. Yeah, specifically for me. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It'll be interesting then. Do you reckon I'm going to lose much power? Because obviously that decat's leaking on that. You lose a little bit, but not. They don't really need. They don't really need back pressure, do they? No. So it's not really a big deal. Sweet. That's where a flame starts coming out the front of my <laughs> engine bay because I've got a leak in my decat. <laughs> All right. Well done. Sums that little play around with it in the back. Nate's just popping the ECU back in. What's your worst car I've taken an ECU out of, Nate? Um, probably a Jag XF. Is it? Because the ECUs are down behind. What, behind the other, like the front of the tray, that panel? Yeah. So you've got to take everything out? Yeah, but they've got a struck um, airbag in there as well. So. Oh, you don't want that one going off, do you? No, it could be <laughs> <laughs> Right, so what I've done off camera is I took everything off, heat shield, everything, um, and I look, and for some apparent reason, I don't know how it's done it, um, the decap pipe was actually stripped off the turbo back um, by, like, by a couple fair few threads, so no wonder it was leaking, but I saw that and I'll put some Loctite on it as well. Um, put this back in here quickly, for a second. And then I'll get Simon to come down and do the, do the honours. See what it's like, shall we? You love that. You pull that same face every video. I've been watching that. It's the only face I've got. <laughs> See what it's like, shall we? Yeah, take a bit more now from this angle.
massive fucking plane is coming out. God, you know, I'm actually like shaking. I'm that excited. Did you see the size of those flames? Right, so the car, <laughs> I just can't get over it still. The car um, on the last run after the map adapted a few times, went to 213, which is fine because Simon only really put the crackles and that on first. He said to me, he's gonna turn it up. So I was like, all right, great. So I actually thought that was the end of it, but um, it's not. Simon just wanted to show me the bangs and that first. So yeah. that's good. Um, what he's gonna do now is turn it up so we should get about 230, 240, he said. So for stage two, that's good um, on the stock turbo. So I'm happy with that if we get to that. So yeah, and those flames, I just can't believe it. But let's just crack on and see what's happening now. Okay, so I don't wanna put a downer towards the end of the video. Um, we didn't get to put the, the Mini back on dyno. Well, the Mini didn't go get adjusted or anything like that again. Main reason being is because we had a problem with the oil feed line, it's come a bit loose and the actuator isn't holding boost properly. So Simon doesn't want to push it as push it anymore yet. So I'm gonna to have to get the few bits ordered up, then come back. Now the power at currently is 220, so once we which is a good power, and then what I'm gonna do in a minute is probably get like Nath. Now I'm sure Nath can do it in a minute. Hey Nath. Yeah. Go for a test drive in a minute. Well um I'll get you to sit there and we can hold the camera and see what it's like. Yes. So we'll go for a test drive, see what it's like. Um, so it's 220, so I need to get the oil over the feed line sorted out and a new actuator, which is fine, so I'll just upgrade them anyway. And then we can come back and get more power. So 220 for now is good, and about 250 foot pounds of torque, I think. Okay, so everyone, everyone is busy at the minute, so they can't come out with me, unfortunately. But I can still go out and see myself what it's like. Um, I don't know how good the camera quality, or not the camera quality, I mean, I don't know how good or jumpy um, gonna be but uh it's the best you're gonna get for now so put the window up a little bit put in sport mode traction control off and then we'll head out uh, i think we're just gonna go get some mcdonald's or something and then see what's dry, dry see what's like to drive still need to get this top mount sorted out there real bad there on that so let's see Don't go commenting down below, guys, saying Luke, your car made shit power. Simon's not good at mapping. I've already told you the reason why we stopped at 220, so please do not give any hate comments. Simon said this could make 240, 250, no problem, but he just didn't want to take the risk, which, you know, a good tuner would do that. So, once we can get out of here, whenever we can get out of here. Feels like a lot more. The torque is there now. I can 100% see that. Gosh, some people cannot drive in this damn place to pay that now. I can feel it. I can feel the bangs a lot more. I'm sure about the. Sorry about the wobbly camera, but it's just as it's got to be what it is, guys. I'm sorry. It feels so good. Yeah. It's not like crazy, the bang. It's good. It's like burbly, but obviously the flames and that are there, so that's sweet. I'm happy with it so far. I mean, we're getting into McDonald's now, so that's the only drive you're going to get for the minute. But. My overall reaction from that little bit, it was good. Um, I haven't really been able to take it on for a drive, but I am gonna end off the video, guys, because it's getting a bit long and drowsy and I don't wanna drag on and say loads of stuff. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, I will come back once we get more power out of the car. So this, I'm not gonna label this as a stage two map today because it technically isn't. Um, we didn't get the power we wanted for, so. But we're gonna get there, Simon's gonna get there, and we're gonna work for it, guys. So, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit that bell button to be notified every single time I upload, guys. And make sure you check out all my social media links in the description down below. Check out Simon's as well. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.